<laughs> What's up? It's Lip Service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Stephanie Santiago. I'm Laura Mora. I'm Don't Call Me White Girl. Hey. And Joey Badass is here for the first time hey. ever. I was surprised. I was like, because I don't be seeing Joey Badass do like a lip service. I was like, and I've been asking you for a long time. I That's was true. Like, mm-hmm. That's true. I'm glad we finally made that happen. Yes. And it's your birthday when we actually birthday. are filming this. And so we were talking about you being an Aquarius. Uh-huh. And That's true. I'm actually like a cuz baby, like mm-hmm. we were saying. You know, I'm on uh, 120, which is uh, like kind of the end of Capricorn, the beginning of Aquarius. So I got like both properties or whatever, but I you identify. resonate, identify more with Aquarius <laughs> for sure. Why is it's that? so different. I don't know. I just always felt more like an Aquarius than a Capricorn. You know what I'm saying? Like when I read like horoscopes or characteristics, I've always resonated more with the Aquarius side. Mm-hmm. But um, it's funny. I got mad Capricorn homies, both men and women. And I got mad Aquarius homies, both men and women. Like January is actually an overwhelming month for me. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's like right after Christmas. It's the and worst then it's, birthday month. And then it's like 15 birthdays of people <laughs> that I know, like people who I really rock with too. So it's just like, damn, like. Yeah, my dad's birthday is January 2nd. Mine is January 3rd. So that's always a weird time. And then you run right into sweet. Valentine's. Listen, mm-hmm. I got a homegirl January 2nd. Got a homegirl and a homie January 3rd. Got a homeboy January 5th. Got a homie mm-hmm. January 7th. Got that's a homie crazy. Uh, January 9th. January 15th. January 14th. God January damn. 20th the is whole me. Month. You should just have 21st. like a party. Well, just get get just everybody together. Yeah. Like a, a January birthday. You know what is even more funny is like every year... A different person from my January tribe gets a gift. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. I go and do like one a month. <laughs> you got to wait. Yeah, now, you were talking about Aquariuses and saying that Aquarius men can't be monogamous. Or No, Aquariuses in general, to me, in general, we're okay. not meant for like one person or one thing or one. We got to move around. Aquariuses mm-hmm. are real like, we like an entity. You know what I mean? Like we come in, boom, we're here. Right, That's why up. he knows his Aquarius over Capricorns, which is so different. Mm-hmm. Y'all focused on money, very driven. We focus on life. Yeah, we like airheads, human. you know, like we be flowing with the wind yeah. and shit like that. So you that. agree we with be... that? You you feel like Aquarius can't be monogamous? Well, I can't speak for all Aquarius, but, you know, I do resonate with that personally. You know, mm-hmm. I'm not sure if uh, we saw a your monogamous tweets. relationship <laughs> right. is necessarily for me. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Okay. I loved your tweet. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Thank you. Let's do it. All right, here's the tweets. Let me see. Did I, I knew that was up? coming. I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I just ain't know it was going to come so soon. That was like, we were talking about you, Joe. Hey, 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 All right, Tristan Thompson, got to stop being a sorry ass N word. Tell Chloe you're a fucking gyalis and you need more than one woman. Straight up, what's so hard about being honest with our women, fellas? Fuck this Western bullshit. Relationships should be expansive and beneficial for all. Most of us have been in polyamorous relationships our whole lives. Right. The only difference is we weren't honest about it. So that deserves like a whoa. We know how you feel. <laughs> so Only because the Tristan know. thing. First of all, yeah. Just as a man to come out and say because that's not the bro thing to do. You're supposed to be like, yeah, you know, that's real shit. Like right. that's corny that's to play with somebody like that and the public and publicly embarrass them over and over and over. You know what I mean? Right. I think it should be another man. You know, uh, like a, a man that other men respect to say that's corny. Some people will say he lies to you because he loves you. It's real, mm. girl. <laughs> I think, um, you know, as men, we lie because, all right, so I feel like people lie in general because they're trying to preserve a reality for themselves. Mm. It's like, a, like I'm a lie to you because this reality that we've built together is the one that's convenient for me or for mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Or for you us. know what I mean? Or for us. It's easier. But I feel like, you know, when you when you ready to be real or when you ready to experience what true love is, unconditional love is, is like nothing that I could say to you is going to break this bond. Mm-hmm. So it's like, if I got to tell you like, yo, I love you, but I have another lover. There's somebody else that I love. Mm-hmm. And if that's going to break us up, and I feel like we ain't meant what to be. What was it in the beginning? It wasn't but, meant to be. So you could like, love more than one person, more absolutely. than one woman. What? Absolutely. You I mean, don't you love your mother and your kids and your pops and your cousins and you know you could you could definitely love more than one okay, person but, okay but i'm talking about like in love yeah like you could be what there's is in love, love and there's in love what is in you love, love like that love is like i want you inside and people me do the different time. things for yeah. you but what is in love though so being you know in love is you can't like see yourself with no one else in certain 
like you can't have different conversations with other people that you can have with that person. You don't open up to other people like you open up. You don't feel as comfortable with it's other hard people. Hard to trust people. Period. Exactly. So. I just feel like love is more of a verb. Butterflies. Is than it love. is like ver- love is not a noun. You know what I'm saying? It's a verb. Love is as love does. Mm-hmm. Like. When you say you love somebody, what are you willing to do for them to show that you love them? Sacrifice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Maybe you know sacrifice what? other relationships. Okay. All right. <laughs> but you know, my sacrifice can look different than your sacrifice. So the other way around. So you're okay with, okay, I love you, but I love other women. And you're okay with being with a woman who's like, I love you, but I love other men. Right. I mean, any woman that I've ever been with has pretty much loved another man before. But during, Maybe not during. at the time, you know what I'm saying? But would you be okay if she was honest and was well, like... Well, all right, so boom. This is my whole thing. Oh. Right. <laughs> boom. All right, so you got polyamory, mm-hmm. which is we're both aware that, you know, we have a thing with each other. We love each other. We have a, lo- a love bond with each other. But, you know, we're messing with other people. It's not committed, you know what I'm saying? Then you got, you know, polygamous situations, mm-hmm. which is more of a committed thing. It's like, all right, if a man has two women, right... He's committed to those two women. He can't mess with no other woman True. outside of those two women. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like that's that's the agreement. Right. It all depends on what the agreement is with whatever partner, you know what I'm saying, you have. And everybody is different. Like, I think this world today, this generation, is a lack of understanding with dynamics, mm-hmm. relationship dynamics. Mm-hmm. Like people are not really diving deep to what their partner wants. It's more about what they want. And like, you know, to even go deeper. This society that how it raised us is like the woman's happiness is at the expense of a man. Mm. So a lot of the times, you know, women lack the understanding of what their man wants. Mm. But what Enjoy is that? Okay. But what about the expense of the woman? Yeah, right. the time? And the other way around. Because I, like I feel like we make a lot of sacrifices. I, I yeah. feel like we make more, more sacrifices, sacrifices than, well, than the man Well, it depends on who the man is. Hmm. You know because what I'm saying? I, I feel like... It depends on who the man that's is. A like, fact. You know? I agree. I, I feel like like what you say, your definition of love, it, it sounds good. You know, like that. that is one. I feel like everybody has their own definition of mm-hmm. what love is. Right. And... You know, when I'm in love with somebody, I feel like I sacrifice a lot. Like yeah. I sacrifice my my mental stability. Okay, mm. you shouldn't have to do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do. 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 I And like, I mean, you know, I've been with a man who um who I love so much, and and I know he loves me back, but he just his lifestyle and his career it just brings a lot of women to his feet, and you know, I and I will never be okay. Okay with a man being with me and being with other women openly. I, I just don't. I even though like I've I've been saying this. I've I've thought about the whole poly and polygamy thing in recent weeks. I've thought about it because I feel like that made me allowing my man to be with another woman who I am also close to might be the only way that I would be happy. But that's I not a reason happy. to do it if it's the only way. Because I don't know. That's what that's I'm saying. saying. Oh, it's oh, just oh, something oh, I'm why, thinking why about. Why couldn't you be with a man who has another Again, woman? Yeah, let's get back to that. You know, but saying with saying that, I'm not dumb. You know, I know what's going on. So I know what's going on in the back of my mind, but I just, I'm not okay with him telling me that. I'm never going to be okay with so him right, so being like, I'm on the road, so I, I got this prostitute sucking my dick right so you'd now. Rather be in I'm the never going to be okay with you'd that. Rather be, by the way, I don't think that's okay. You know what I'm saying? I don't like, think that's okay. I'd rather a situation where it's like, I have another woman that's because I don't want a prostitute sucking my dick. I don't want to mess with hoes. I don't want to mess with nobody who I ain't got a real love bond, genuine connection with. But also, let's get down to the root of the problem. Why? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Why would you rather to be in dark about a prostitute sucking his dick than, my to the, love than for him to have like a real other love? My love language is, um, you know, um, affirmations of love, you know, terms of endearment. I could do all of that. Exactly. I could affirm my love so for you. So it's like, it's hard for me. How could, how could a man be um, be telling me, like, how can a man tell me I love you, but I want to be with another woman? That's like crushing my whole heart. Just the He's not telling you that I love you, but I want to be exactly. with another woman. He said I want to be know. with both of y'all. Nah. But then who takes priority? I, I, wanted to, right. I wanted to add to what you said earlier. It's I just think the other me. big part is when you said society, 
women get caught up on what people think a lot. So I feel like when you're in a relationship with a man, right, and he's giving you everything you need, you feel fulfilled, right? What your sisters say, what the people that follow you on social media say, what the church mm-hmm. say, or whatever say, a lot of that impacts how you react or you respond. Sure. So when he said the thing about society, it's a lot of pressure on women that, oh, he better not have another bitch. You know what I mean? Yeah. Versus if you're comfortable. People ask me for advice all the time, and I tell them, like, if you know that he dates other women or he deals with other women in whatever way, and you're really, truly happy home. I'm not talking about being suspicious and looking through phones and you can't sleep and your mental mm-hmm. stability. I'm talking about this nigga <laughs> keep you happy That's... and he fuck other women. Why do you care? Like, right. why Why does it bother you if you're happy in the home? And Because the truth is, men come like him, straightforward, most bitches can't take it. I Even know you be honest, okay. most well, just I can't feel like a lot of women are that. okay with I, it, but then there's just some who aren't. I feel not like, when they I come feel like real women like is, Yeah, I feel like more, women is more okay with like, I. Right, I fuck with Joey. Like, I know he get bitches and shit like that, but she gonna, I'm going to make him commit to me. Right. Even well, though I know he going to go on tour and boom, boom, boom. He might yes. do what he do as long as I don't know about it. It's like, I just that's, think that that's, and that's exactly stupid. You, that's, that's just shady, that's, though. But because it's like, now me as Joey, I can't come back home. And like, I don't feel like I could like be real, real with you. Like, I'm, I'm keeping yeah, you. I'm, I just I'm feel keeping like you in this false reality. You can be real without being, you know, so... It's you almost know, like he could do what he can't about say it to you. So you don't, yeah. so you you don't want an honest sneaky. man. <laughs> like, so you don't want an honest man is what you say. I want, you don't want to listen, hear that shit. I, I, don't, I feel like, like you said, um, if a man is is making you happy in all kinds of ways, but he's sleeping with other women, you're not making me happy if you're sleeping oh, with I want to know. Women. No matter what you do. I think that's subjective. You're not yeah. making me happy. You're making me sad. All right, but boom, Ooh. boom. All right, let me stop you right there, though. Let me stop you right there, though. How many times have you dealt with a man who you wasn't in an exclusive relationship with and you telling all your homegirls like, yo, I think he the one, boom, boom, boom. But y'all not committed. So you know what that mean? He got other bitches. But he satisfying your needs though. For now. For, okay. Uh, be but for if, now, like, but if, if I'm looking to like get married or be with somebody in a mono- I I'm a monogamous type of person. Like I don't want to have, date, be with somebody sure. that's with other people, but that's just me. I don't think it's wrong if other people me are too. okay I don't with think doing that. You can do what you want to do. Sure. Right. But I know that that's how I feel because I also know that I need somebody that's like making me a priority over anybody oh, else. That's so how so I, that's if I know there's somebody else me. in the picture that you might have to compromise a situation with me because they need something and it might, that's going to upset me. I right, know, boom. But that's the understanding. No, that's what I'm saying. I would, I would, I would, I would on, send that on. expectation from the beginning. Like, I'd rather the men be open. Like, where I'm at now, before I used to think like that, like, no, I don't want my men. But now where I'm at in my life, I'm just like, you know what? If you're open just and honest real. from the beginning, you're giving me a choice. Mm-hmm. But he can so be as open long as you feel like if you love me, but then I'm gonna set my you're not expectations. Gonna let your demons as long as get in the way of my, my breaking my heart, like what the shit you do, work that out with God. Don't let me find out. Because <laughs> I also feel you like know, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me expectations from the beginning. I'm gonna not feel like I shouldn't do anything else either. Wait, so right. Like, what? like if you're like I'm dating other women, I'm gonna be like, okay, we're in an open relationship. But talking about, about what kind of men are y'all dating though? Um, bro, what do you mean? You said broke ones? And that's what I meant. That's what I meant. I'm being honest. I'm being honest, right? If it's broke ones, then I understand. I've had a I lot of guys like lately, like, like I, I think I'm meeting guys. <laughs> and it's like that they're open with me from the beginning. So I'm like, okay, well, now this is different. I respect that you're giving me a choice. As long as you're giving me the choice to either, you know, go through with it or not, then... I'm okay with it, but I'm going to let you know these are my expectations. As long as that's not compromising my happiness or where that. I'm at and I've you making sure that you can that. play that field. Like I've never had nobody. I I'm, dated a guy recently and I'm like, yo, I, let's let's not lock in. Let's just enjoy each other. Let's make financial goals. We don't have to go together. You do, you do me. He was like, no, let's get married. Let me, just for me to find out he got 10 bitches. Cheetah. I've never felt a man that was like open and honest with me. Okay. I'm such an aggressive, like a big personality. Niggas like to lock me down. So the first thing is like, you don't date nobody, whatever. I think I'm cool with the polygamy thing too because I'm Muslim by faith. Muslims can have, a Muslim man can have more than one wife. Mm-hmm. And with a Muslim, that's like how he said, it's almost contractual. So if we're both have the same husband... We both have to live the same. You can't have a rental property and I have our own home. Mm-hmm. I can't be in the projects and you in the mansion. Mm-hmm. It has to be fair. The days are split up fair. So, I mean, for me to say I'm not with Plumiki is like against my religion. So, so I can't be broke because everybody got to have... This, it depends on the level. Well, let's, but... get, let's get to that. <laughs> let's get to that. All right, so boom. You said something about priority, mm-hmm. right? I think that's a very important word because who is really priority, right? If you're dealing with a man who's purposeful, you could never be his priority. 
You know why? Because his purpose to himself, to what he got to do, is always going to be first. He's always going to choose the opportunity that's going to advance his career, which trickles down and benefits you if he's his woman over you. Well, I don't mean that I have to be a priority over every aspect of his career. Because my, my career is a priority, too. And mm-hmm. I think... At times, people know that. But I also don't want to know when it comes to another woman. Is she that, first? Yeah. Like if it's and a I holiday. Feel like, and okay, I feel what like if a he man has a 16 year old daughter? A man with purpose. <laughs> oh, I think children, of- are, children are different. You know, but, I mean, you know, it just, and, and truthfully, I'd rather date somebody that doesn't, you know, have a kid. What that, about, I, yeah, if I had a choice, if we're talking about choices, I'd rather if not. If you could draw up the perfect Yeah, situation. if I could do that, I would rather not have to. But I love kids. You and got so, kids, no. Okay, well. But I love kids, but I'm okay with that. But when it comes to somebody that you're treating like in a relationship, I don't want to feel like in your relationship, there's somebody that's. You know, you might have to be like, yo, Angela, it's her birthday, so me and her are going to go on this oh, trip. Yeah. I want to come with you. That's just depending oh, on the man. He has that. to know how to deal. Like, he has to know how to play that, like, play that, like... I mean, I've never been in that situation, yeah. so I don't know. Like, like I shouldn't like have to tell you that. I feel like it's nice. It, it, in a perfect world, a man will give you the choice. But listen, if you give me the choice, I'm going to choose to not fuck with My you. My heart breaks. And that's cool. And you that's going to tell that man that this situation was in way. My heart break has come from men lying to me. I think. I think and, I'm and, enough. And paint in a picture that is not for having multiple lives aside of me. Think I'm thinking I'm the only one. No, give me a choice. Don't waste my time. I feel like mm-hmm. I'm and enough. And I would say, yeah, I feel I'm like with I'm, it or I'm, I'm not. I'm right. more than enough woman That's for a man to just want to be with me. I'm, 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 I'm down. I do whatever. I make my own money. I'm independent. I'm intelligent. I'm beautiful. I'm sexy and I'm shy. I'm, I feel like but I'm just, be, just because you're all those things that that doesn't take away a man wanting. All right, so boom. It, I, say I it just can't be okay. Yeah. I, I can't be If a man gave me the option. Every time you say that, you better say some shit. Yeah, right. Like, if a man is telling me straight up, like, listen, you one of my, you part of my realm. You're you're one of the girls that I'm fucking with right now. Um, okay, fine. You're not one of the guys that I'm fucking with. I just want a guy who's at least going to give me the respect to give me time in the beginning to just be with me at mm. first. At least give me a try. You don't want to join the fleet. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm not trying to join. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Because then you're accepting and you're just accepting that right from the beginning. But that's if that's crazy. the guy for you and that's the guy that's meant for you, he's going to be for you. Hold on, I'm going to do that. Exactly. Yeah, no, so no. booms are heavy. Boom. All I was saying, all I you know, wanted to say is, you know, Everything that you just said about yourself, you being beautiful and you being witty, you being smart, you being attractive, kind. like you being I'm kind. Exactly. Shy. I'm so nice. Yeah. Like, you know, you being all mm-hmm. of these, a, a man. Okay. So first, it takes a certain type of man to even to even be able to handle a situation I, where no, he's managing two or more relationships. You know what I'm saying? Like me personally, I Agreed. feel like I can only do two. I can't do more than two. Two at one. You know what I mean? Yeah, I could, I could only do two or whatever, right? What's the highest duty of a man? What, the highest duty of a man? Yeah, I'm actually Protection. Asking, oh, yeah. Protection, like just making me feel like I'm okay, like I'm good with you. So I feel protected Same. in more than one way. So I safe I, I, so and more. financially so together. A, okay. It go hand Uh-oh. in hand. Providing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah provider. That's, that's what that? that's what, what sure. anyone would and say. And supportive, mentally, physically. But what would Trump? I mean, no, but what's the highest duty? That. Not the provide? only duty, but what's the highest duty? Probably provide. That would probably so you mean be financially. It. I mean, so all right. Yeah, but, like, so when it comes to <laughs> yeah, I got to chill. When it comes to providing <laughs> financially, it's probably the biggest aspect of that in capitalist America in the yeah. society that we live in. A man has to be able to provide for his family, right? Mm-hmm. That's pretty much every, most women's expectation of a man. And that's most men's expectation of themselves. Mm -hmm. However, that's not the only way a man is supposed to provide. A man needs to be able to provide Mm -hmm. guidance Mm -hmm. and leadership. For me, that's what I I would For me, what I need from a man, I need him to provide me with inspiration. That's all I need. Okay, so look, this is is the point that I'm getting to. This is is the point that I'm getting to. You see, most women haven't come across a man who's able to provide financially and intellectually, Fuck spiritually, right, Joey. emotionally, physically, <laughs> all this of that shit. I mean. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, at a first glance, it would mm-hmm. be like, oh, yeah, I could never do that because most women have not been introduced to that type of man. That's a fucking and, point. you know, to be real, not a lot of these men exist because the way society has groomed us all mm-hmm. is corrupted. 
You know what I'm saying? It's corrupted. Like society's groomed men to lie. <coughs> Society has be groomed players. women to, you know, almost take on this masculine role of today. It's like, let's be real. As a woman, all of y'all, don't, don't y'all want y'all men to dominate you? Fucking yeah, right. 100%. Yeah. That's all I want. Don't you want your man I to mean, dominate th- you? Yes. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, financially, no. I fried a chicken. Well, okay. I want to not you chicken. What I'm you, a very what dominating you, you not person. Financially? Like, I mean, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no. Wait, what I'm saying, like, don't. When you say dominate, I mean, yeah, be, I know what you're telling me that you're not in charge, but a lot of men. You want don't y'all want y'all man to lead y'all? Don't y'all want to be with a man for sure? Don't y'all? Don't y'all want to be with a man who y'all know y'all could close your eyes, fall back? This nigga got yeah, right. But I want to be that for him too. Oh, dude, okay, no. but the thing is, the way natural order works, a real man is not necessarily going to allow a woman to be that for him because that kind of takes away his power. However, you know, all women need, I mean, all men need a woman to remind them of who they are, to remind them of their power. Because at times we do get lost, we do get misguided, and we lean on our woman. A lot of the times with men, women is our inspiration. You see men turn their whole lives around. Why? That's a fact. Because they trying to attract the woman yeah, into their lives. You know what I'm saying? So w- what I'm basically trying to get to is if a man is living in his highest duty, he's checking every box off for you. For that type of man, some woman might not be enough to mm. fulfill him. Mm-hmm. And that's why he may need another of option. It doesn't might take be too away. Much. It doesn't take away. I mean, yeah, in a situation where he's not a complete man, a woman could be that's too much. That's my problem. Because you know? I feel I, like um, I feel like with me, um, like you said, guys, men, natural, natural form. They they want to be the strength. They want to be the provider, right? When um, a lot of times a man will look at me and be like, "What could I give her? She already has everything. She." She takes care of everything herself, you know? So that kind of kicks in on a, a man's ego. You know it what I does. mean? It does. If he's a Which weak-minded a, man. Absolutely. Because I he's agree only with thinking you. financially. Right. That's just one. Like, and yes, then, while and that's then, the bigger I'll be piece with of the a man pie. who's super rich and my money looks super small to him. You know, my money looks little to him. But he's a dun 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 he can't teach you shit. Exactly. I he can't, can't, I can't hold you. a conversation mm-hmm. with this. He can't man. guide you. You'd rather have a conversation with son from the projects because you know he in them books. Uh-huh. He went to jail. He in, like, you know what I'm saying? He got a real and head I just on his shoulders. Man, I wish men shit. would look beyond my um my career path and you know the type of friends that I have and the type of men that I could be around on a regular Tuesday and just realize like. Just you being yourself is inspiring to me. If I want to be with you, I, I'm already inspired. You know what I mean? I'm already, I already look up to you. Even if I have more money than you, I have a better car and a better house. I still. You got to stop talking crazy to people. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's but not just, but but also, you know. All of us, all of us are speaking from our own, own experience. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know that's, what I'm saying? It's true. like yeah. the reality for you is you just never found that real alpha male who you feel, you know, he could financially provide for you and he could also fill your mind with some good things. See, I, the a- reason I believe in monogamy, I don't feel like that's the biggest issue for me in a relationship. Like, me either. And Laura, you know, I've dated guys who, they probably more <laughs> wanted me to be in a relationship with them and <laughs> then the other way around. Like, it'll be like they want to lock it in and it's not, that's never really the issue. Well, you sound like you like your control. Yeah, yeah, I'm a controlling person in and the see, relationship. And you see, she said it so sweetly. And, 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 and that's a lot of, you know, women of today. Not even women, people of today. But that's another but issue. Women, I'm I, I want to put a focus on women. I am too. Our I'm with control and power. But like you said, I and need- And honestly, I, control and power, that's more of a masculine trait. But I say this, I'm very good at, like, I'm very catering to a person, but I also am- but you're career based. Yeah, I'm very career based. based. And you, I you said it earlier, you put your career. I first. work a lot. Like she'll tell you because me and Laura. But she, goes, the, but she goes hard though. Like No, I believe no it. No matter I how busy it. she is, she makes sure she do little things. Like to I make, make sure. somebody feel really special yes. and it's good, but sometimes it's like I think guys have a problem with um how much I work. Hmm. Like people would be like, I don't want you to work anymore. I just want to take care of things. And how many days off a week? And you said what? How many days you take off a week? Um, it depends. I try to make sure. Like how many no days, days did he get you to himself the whole day? Not even a day off. Yeah, I do. Not all, all the right, time, so boom, but let I can me, Let me ask y'all this now. What's the highest duty of a woman? 
I think to take care of them, cook, clean, and stuff like that. I'm old school, though. Let's simplify that. It depends on the man, because different men have different no, needs. No, no, no. It don't depend on the man. Mm-mm. Just being What's the highest duty supportive, of a woman? Just being a home like to just be a home it for a man. Him. Nurture. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly right. what I feel yeah. like, to nurture, to take be the home. Yeah, take care I feel like at the end of the day, a man but wants not just to, of his a man, mother. Just to nurture, period. Yeah. The highest duty of a woman is to nurture. Yeah. Yes. Period. You know what I'm saying? So in a situation like... In dynamics like yours, what may exist for these men is feeling like, oh, like, let me be the man. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's like, because they want you to be fully submissive as a woman. But, you know, that's why dynamics is important. You got to understand dynamics because just because I'm a man don't mean that I'm more masculine based. Mm-hmm. I could be more feminine based and I could be like, Oh, you know what? It's cool that you work, baby. Like, you Most know what I'm saying? Most of them act like, like pussies. I'm 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 a hold it down. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're saying. Most of them pussy. <laughs> I mean, with me, with me. You got beta man, you got beta man, you got okay, alpha man. It, it just, yeah, it's you just all about understanding. Five times. It's about understanding your dynamic, pussy. really. You know what I'm saying? So pussy. what I'm saying to you, Angie, is like, don't go looking for an alpha male <laughs> if you know that you like to be in control. Right. If yeah. you know that you like to have the power, then know but I don't like that your man is gonna be weaker than the typical. I don't like anybody to let me walk all over them, but I do feel like it's, you know, I worked really, really hard to get to where I am. And there's a lot of things that I still want to achieve. And so it is hard for me to don't say. Don't get in the way. Yeah. It is hard for me to just say, I'm going to not do this just so I could, you know, Please. be home. Right. Not me. I want right. my man to be in total control of everything, <laughs> oh of the God. money, of <laughs> our, like take all my money and give me what I need. I want my man to be in control of my whole life. That's what I, I wanted my whole life. I still want that. And I can never find you that. Like, girls, I'm in control of your money. <laughs> <laughs> she got you. Because right. even when it comes to money, I don't mind like spending money. It's not a big deal to me. Me either. Like, I'm not going to be like, you got to buy me this. You got to buy. I don't mind nah. buying things. I don't mind paying for it. Like, it's not a big Same. deal to me ever. See, with Same. me, it's my personality. So it don't matter. I have a lot. I have nothing. Men yes, just don't know how to take this. And I'm at the point now where it's like, because I've never dated anybody but black men. I'm starting to feel that most black men can't take a girl that's like how I am. Because once we date and you get there, I'm totally submissive. I cook, I clean, I fry the chicken, I bring your plate, I take the plate. <laughs> once it. you carry it like that, I carry it like that. But of course, it's this big, thick thing. I'm from North Philly. This is who I am. Like, I don't give you that day one because I can't fucking trust you. Once we locked in and I trust you, completely submissive, that's who I am. But you got to be a certain type of nigga to even get through that because mm-hmm. this is how I talk. I'm brash, I'm aggressive, I'm a city girl. I'm going to get, get away with what you let me get away with. I'm a North Philly girl. Like, not even that. Like, <laughs> I, I know how to show you respect, I know how to do all that. But that don't come day one. Like, I feel like just because my personality and how big it is and I'm intelligent, a lot of black men expect me to kind of like dim my shit down so he can feel comfortable. That's how I feel. Like, almost like be quiet. Don't be as funny. Don't be as smart. So he doesn't feel like a bitch. And it's like, I need a man, man, because I can't make you feel like a bitch being myself. Because this is really who I am every day, no matter what. How does, this, how does this translate into the bedroom? Hmm. Then when it comes to being dominant in the bedroom. It go back to the question that I asked all y'all that y'all all agreed on, except for you. Y'all all like to be dominated. <laughs> <laughs> she laughing. Look. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably controlling in the bedroom too. Are you? Ooh. I am. I do. I be, yeah. She's little. Pretty she packs a punch. A little bit like, <laughs> That's a problem for a nigga like me. Like, in the bedroom, I ain't be in control. Yeah. I, ain't be I mean, in control. I don't mind, I'm but in I control. Do. That's it. You better come. So you not going to let nobody tell you what I say? You said what? Hey, you better not fucking come right now. You better not fucking come right now. I don't know you ain't tying me up. What? You ain't going to tie. What about for a role? I wouldn't want to tie. What about for a role? I wouldn't want to tie. You don't want to get like tied up. Yeah, for a movie. Yeah, for a movie. But that's different. What, so, so the whole role, I'm just be tied up. Would you like to tie a girl up? I would tie a girl up. So, that would be a good role for you. Could you play a role where you were dominant in life, but in the bedroom, because you're so dominant in your life, you like to be tied up? Nah, because it wouldn't be good acting. That's perfect acting. So, all the roles that I take is like. Why Subconsciously would, a piece of me That's really you like that, that. That's so why you I are sell unique that. A Why bit? wouldn't you like To be tied up like, I like unique Why wouldn't I like To be tied up <laughs> yeah. 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 Because yeah. I ain't in control yeah. but I ain't you, no submissive but man But you just said You want to be like But you're being pleased She could take your wallet But Laura you, nah, would you want to tie your man Y'all seen that one video with, with Shorty who tied a man up And she started tickling his feet uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's like I'm tickling this I can't That's what I would do I would goofy like that What about blindfolded I definitely Oh yeah y'all did blindfold before Okay, so you've okay. been blindfolded. The sensations on that is crazy. 
Okay, so you like that. Nah. Now there's a woman. I, I don't know if you. Mindful. I don't know if you saw this story. This woman has two vaginas. Did you see this? Nah. All right. She was born with two. She has an OnlyFans. She makes seventy five thousand dollars a month on OnlyFans. I just subscribed. Yeah. Wow. But she yeah, has two vaginas. She uses one for work, like as an escort, and the other one she uses in her personal life. Lucky girl, right? Wow. She got one so that could be sell. like two women for you. <laughs> <laughs> right, she said they both nah, got different. One is for everybody <laughs> else. Yeah. One is for everybody else. Nah, hell no. That's crazy. I never seen that. Would you would it, would you have sex with somebody? She's like, like I gotta tell you something. I, I got, got two, two vaginas. Persons. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if I really if I'm really into her, like you know, she's really something special. I'll be like, you know, that's new. That's a, you sure is is really two just that's two new. persons. Yeah, it's two sure? vaginal, You know. <laughs> And then, yeah, I, I wanted to ask all of y'all something because y'all were saying about if a person has two different things. Like um, my experience is the good guys or the guys with stuff, or like you have a career or whatever, whatever. And I, I got a lot of male friends. I feel like they had the same experience. The whores, like mm-hmm. the bitches still in the projects, real nasty. Everybody like them. They fuck the best. <laughs> like the career, no shade. Okay. The career the driven most, girls. Let's, let's say they got the most experience. <laughs> the career driven girls, girls might be a tad. The coochie might be a tad corny. Me, all the good sex has been on terrible guys. Like on a and rooftop the good guy, somewhere. <laughs> oh, man. Like, you either it's, it's not enough sex or the sex sucks. I don't feel like you could get two in one. The guy that got the whole package as far as he dicking you down and he has something going for himself. But Leroy that live with his grandmother... Boy, you go in that basement, but where I, you I, out? Well, I fucked a few <laughs> cellar dwellers <laughs> because cellar dwellers. the better dick is on a homeless guy. What? what? That's just Jeez. honesty. Now we want to go. I don't know that you can stereotype. Now, oh, I, will right. say, oh, I will say, I will say, I will say oh, the right. guys who are fucking for a roof over their head are better because it's like I a mean, same shit. That's like yeah. women. Is. Same shit. He go from his grandma's basement to your fucking house. Mm-hmm. You said you said guys who what? Like for a roof the over best their head. Can't afford a roof over their head. It, they need a place to stay. Because all, all they think about is pussy. <laughs> You're like, this is a job. I got to do a great job. <laughs> the best the best sex I've ever had is probably has been with one of the richest guys I've ever been with. Really? Yeah. Yeah, okay. we have opposite experiences. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. we was looking down for a minute till you said that. I'm like, <laughs> but what I about really What about pussy? Being. Like, what about that? Like, for women, is there a difference as, as far as, like, if like she's successful, successful well, right. or I struggling. Mean, I don't think it got to do with like success. It's just more about character mm-hmm. and personality. Like, shorty got to have some type of edge. You know what I'm saying? Like, she got to be raw type okay. shit. You know what I mean? She got to be from somewhere. She got to. She had to see some shit. Like, if she didn't, and she just like a goody two sh- two shoe and shit. Like, she just got to be a super freak. Like, maybe she watched porn all day long. <laughs> but I just want to say, like, I've seen both. I've seen both sides of the spectrum, and then really. Determine on like success, really. like a good girl with glasses on, sucking your dick, and you could just come but, over her glasses. But what I would say is, you know, <laughs> the girls from the hood, the girls from the hood, they always got something that, like, you know, the girls who not from mm-hmm. the hood ain't got. Like, yeah, you like girls talking just, shit to you in bed. Oh, I talk shit, so yeah, yeah, yeah. We could talk shit. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. I like um, I like communication. Has anybody ever sure. said something that took you aback, like? Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, well, the first time I was told to like spit in a mouth, uh, I was oh, like, we just oh, about that. I said, I oh, that. nasty, nasty. <laughs> Did you like I that? Hate I said, oh. <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. That's too much. You are no longer blind. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I hate to be called nasty, though. I hate that. I ain't do that, but it was just like, what? But you did it. Oh, yeah, I did it. I mean, shit, I wasn't going to do it. If I liked it, yeah, yeah it was like cool. It? Yeah, it was cool. I ain't gonna lie, it'd be, it be it's kind of a thing now for me. Now you spit in girl's mouth? I spit in your face. It's wildly what? popular so, now, though. It wasn't that popular. popular. Niggas start rapping about it, it got popular, like super popular. I have a question. So if a girl suck your dick, like you feel some type of way if she don't swallow? Oh shit, Lord, don't get personal. <laughs> Here she goes. Uh oh. Lord, I don't swallow just to. Put All right, so boom. <laughs> All right, so boom. The booms are right. hot shit. Y'all want to know something? Everybody. Y'all want to know something? Yeah. You don't like getting your dick sucked? Oh, no. I love okay, getting my dick sucked. Are you crazy? <laughs> what type of man would I imagine? Uh, this guy's who's Imagine. The hell I'll wrong be with on you? the news tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be on Channel 5 news. <laughs> Young black rappers, he doesn't like getting his dick sucked. <laughs> right. This is crazy. You <laughs> wrong word. This is front page. Nah, um, but this, this might be front page, too. It's like... <laughs> I'd rather not bust a nut. When you're getting a dick sucks. Nah, period. Boom. Oh, sex I've too? I've heard of it. Boom. Yeah. 
I've heard it. Right. Yeah, I'd rather not bust a nut. So wait, you don't like to and have I, you don't like to come when you're when you're having sex. Yeah. Why? Because Be- I I'd rather prov- <laughs> So you never come so or you do it yourself. So for the people this for the first time, it's going to sound crazy, but like I'd rather preserve my life force. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like when a man ejaculates, like there's a lot of things that leave your body. There's blood cells, there's You're testosterone, depleted. energy. You know, mm-hmm. you get depleted. They say it's like the equivalent of running 20 miles when you bust a nut. So me, I'm, a high, I'm a high productive man. But I feel some type of way man. every so, time so, we so you I mean, you know, you know, are you going to feel the type of way if I make you come six times? Fuck no. Because then it's not over till it's it comes, not over, I feel like. Yes. Oh, no, it's like, over. So, so when, so when do you come? stop? I've but, had guys that did that, like, they just, like, to the point where I'm like, I've come enough. Like, <laughs> I've never you, said anything like that. You better not fucking come. And then they come. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You tell them not to come? That was an advice I got. And it was a good She one. looking oh, at me? I mean, yeah, I yeah. It. But, you know, <laughs> you're, dealing, you're dealing with men who don't got, like, no, you know, no experience, no history of, like, you know, withholding they see back and shit yeah. like So that. what do you do? Like, you you just boxes? I've been doing this for, like, two years. No, nah, I don't stop. I just oh, I just hold it. I just... But know, then so where, so you just never come? And well, then... the thing is, is, like, once you don't release, like, that big ejaculation, like, you kind of come a lot of times. You feel like, you mean you're sensitive orgasms. like the whole yeah, time. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, you got like, you, like, you have like multiple oh, orgasms. So you don't finish. So, you, shit you, like so that. what you, you're the type that like, what, you you know you're about to come, you stop and then you just yeah, do something yeah, else yeah, to make sure. sure she come again and you go back in because you got that energy back. For and sure. Going back. Uh, yeah, I go all night. I know your type. Yeah, I My go all ex, night. if we had sex in the morning, he wouldn't come because he said he couldn't get his day right. His day wouldn't be right. He could only come at night. I yeah. like when guys be in a fetal position after. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I've never oh, seen somebody in the field. Yeah, that's crazy. You don't like strong you don't dominant like man. If I saw a man in a fetal position, it would fuck my head. You don't like strong dominant man. If I saw a man in a fetal position naked, it would fuck me up. It would fuck me up mentally. You like to cradle your nigga. I think I'm a call an ambulance. I would be scared. I like when guys you. come and they just can't do nothing after that. But not like, fetal, Angela. I like that too. Fetal, that's crazy. That's like total that's baby wicked. bitch. I like that too, but that sounds really masculine. I like when I do that. Like, like, oh, like oh, you like know, like, I bought this nigga I'm like a baby girl. He <laughs> bought him like a baby girl. Yeah, all, all I see, all I see is that me. scene. Y'all remember that scene from Don't Be a Menace when, when Shorty was in the truck with uh, Marlon uh-huh. Wayans? Yeah. 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 She turned into a monster. <laughs> <laughs> that's this. One. It reminds me of Baby Boy. Remember when Tyrese did the naked thing when he's in the um? Yes, I remember that. I watched that part so many times. The angle with the hairy ass, that would be so over. It would be over. That's wicked. She said, "Damn, I never heard that." Mommy. What about you? Don't mind a girl being on top. Are you a dominatrix? No, <laughs> you almost there. Yeah, she right you there. You know, she's she's like, this, this the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> yeah, you on your way. Oh, I God. feel like you'd be full BDSM by next year. Like, are you okay? So when you orgasm, are you loud? Like, do you make noises? You scream? Nothing. Um, I forgot. You did not. You did not. <laughs> I, I don't know. I I can't, I can't really like. Do I make? You I'm like, definitely not Ange? loud. I'm like. I'm not like ah like screaming and shit. I'm like. I <laughs> what might do you like? like Damn, you like girl, for a guy like, to make a sound? Yeah, I need to know. Too. I like a like a grunt, like a not yeah, a little yeah, something. Grunt, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I, like, I don't want you to yeah. quietly come, and I have no idea. Oh, I like no, 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 no. Grunt, I, I'm not silent at all, but I'm not like screaming. Silence. So next door, you know what I mean? I hate silence. You don't know unless you're quiet for a reason. Like, because you're trying not to make noise. I'm not mm-hmm. quiet at all. I can't. I'm damn near cracking jokes sometimes. If it's boring, I'm cracking jokes. You can't crack jokes <laughs> during sex. <laughs> I've funny. cracked jokes yeah. before, And they too. funny. So Have you ever <laughs> farted during buzzing? sex? No, I never farted. No. No. Come on. I, I'm farted the type, during I, sex. I don't fart in front of my men at all. I don't but sometimes you can't help well, it. Well, I mean, no, but there's... But, I mean, it. fart like... I, my pussy's farted. I, I hate that. Uh, I feel like that's controllable with but the that's air when thing. I've had the best it's not controllable not into it. I don't it's like not controlled it's especially nothing you can when do about it's that. when it's like and it's good and it happens and I'm like fuck it like and but I, feel just, like, I feel like niggas like that shit. Yeah, though. I mean, like, like I used like to that. like that as, as a little nigga, but that, don't like it. I haven't no. experienced when that. When that happens to me, those are but those the only times. reason you're queefing or having a pussy fart during sex is because he's too small, he's letting air in, it's too big, and there's too much air, not tricks. enough moisture. <laughs> 
It's I just haven't had air. You experience me. There's something when... wrong with that. I don't like it. Yeah, it's it's not it's not you don't form gas and push air out I don't like through it. your vagina. Mm-hmm. So it's from them putting it in <laughs> and letting air go in. I don't think you women know, should fart no, or shit around mm-hmm. their men. I know that's probably ridiculous, but no, I think you should. Hide. I, well, I think, think you so. should go in the. I think you should go in the bathroom, close the door, and then you know try to do it when he's not like right there. I will use the bathroom downstairs. Well, yeah, that makes sense. At least you have it downstairs. I might the old bathroom smell like bleach because I'm getting. Get rid of shit smell. Y'all got to get that know. spray that before you poo. And, and the, the poo spray, spray yes. before poo spray, yeah, I got it. And you got to also, as soon as it hit the water, flush. It's called a courtesy flush. Yeah, the courtesy prison. flush. Or just, no, play music. No courtesy or just play music in there. That's prison shit. Watch, a, uh, watch a, a, a lip service podcast. Yeah, just watch mm-hmm. the shit. It's why you taking the shit. <laughs> I'm with the Make courtesy flush hot. though, for sure. Mm-hmm. You do that so for are, you a, are you a kisser? Yeah, I'm a kisser. Okay, so you make out and all of that. Yeah. I like, Um, I'm in the... Affectionist, if that's a word. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I like affection. Uh, you cuddle. Am affectionate. Publicly, PDAs too. I'll do a PDA. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck. Like, yeah. Do you find that now though it's harder for you to like be out in public doing things because everybody knows you? Yeah, but like I just I, I feel like I just know how to move, so mm-hmm. you know I'll be low. Yeah. Despite all of that, but every now and again, I'll be like, oh, yo, joy, I'm like, oh shit. You know, <laughs> but yeah, you know, I know how to be low. How do you enjoy playing the character of Unique? Because we were all talking about that. We actually yeah. had a little fuck Mary kill with some of your characters to see like oh, which really? type of guy we would like the best. Who killed me? Well, oh, they're right. all you. No, they're all you, but what in you different mean? roles. Different roles uh, that you play. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. We killing the nigga Everybody from Two Distant Strangers. <laughs> 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 we killing, he's a good guy. We killing, yeah, he's a good guy, but good guys always that finish last. That might be the one you marry. I mean, Everybody you seen the movie, the, you the nigga finished last. He didn't even fucking get to live his life. Okay, but we're he talking about his character, time. not the, what you know, not him getting killed by the cops, but like but his yeah. character as a person. Like All I know is if that was unique in that situation, Oh my God, like I would have been dead. Yeah. I didn't even consider that character and the options. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because he's just like you died every. <laughs> <He just> died. <laughs> I can't even tell because he I died. Had to, I had to play a weak man. <laughs> and he was having like a one night. Have you ever had a one night stand? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. More than one. Many. Yeah, mm-hmm. many. I've never had one. I'm sorry. How you made. feel about you them? I can't either. wait. Well, what now it's, it's not a um, <laughs> like now that I'm older, I don't seek those type of experiences. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like I like connectivity. I like connection. Like. First of all, you got to have your, your mind in a certain type of space for like me to even feel like the energy exchange is worth it. Mm-hmm. So you like you know? soul ties? I guess you could say that. I mean, yeah, I guess. I just like it. I like spiritual connections. Did you kiss Period. during one night stands like a woman you didn't know that well? Would you yeah, do that? Yeah, I did. That's mm-hmm. sweet. But that was like <laughs> in my older life though, like when I was young and coming <laughs> up. Like, yeah, I was just young and wild and like horny. Did you fall in love quick? <laughs> Um, nah, nah. I've only had one relationship my whole life. Really? Me too. Mm-hmm. Well, two. Lie. <laughs> two. But two, but you, so you're not in a, a, poly, a polyamory relationship now. You're just. Um. Uh oh. No. Is that that what you want? You want to be in a poly relationship or a polygamy thing? That's what you want to do? Polygamous, yeah. You want to do polygamy. Mm -hmm. So you want your wives to... I want two. You want two wives. wives, They're going to get along. Well, you know, only 27 right now with two girlfriends. Okay. Same house? No. Separate house. Absolutely Separate house. Yeah, so separate you don't time. want it, you don't want it to be a a, a mm-hmm. family. You just want to have one family here and one family there, and yeah. everybody okay with it. You yeah, don't want them like, to mess you know, with each other. Yeah, well, that's, that's up to them. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like as the man, I feel like that's not really your role. You know what I'm saying? It's like they would have to be cool with each other. They would have to, you know, what I'm saying, be able to call each other and stuff like that. And if they want to get down like that, then cool. But I'm they don't for have that. to. But nah, they don't just have to. Wives. It's not a requirement. You but know you what wouldn't saying? mind. I wouldn't mind. Same no. city? Um, potentially. Because that's like far. Wouldn't it be Potentially. Easier if it was but, you know, I like to be bi coastal, so maybe like, right. you know, it's New York and LA. Real Aquarius vibes, <laughs> baby. You think you're amazing in bed? Yeah. I know it. Clearly. I don't think. He said six times. He turned around and said, You come six times. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> well, how do you think you got so good? Experience. You know, trial and error. <laughs> Oh shit! You had some errors. Um, I won't call it errors. Well, yeah, yeah. I guess I guess errors, but mm, 
I'm trying, yeah, 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 yeah. I've had some marriages coming up. Mm-hmm. I feel like it happened to the best of us, you know what I'm saying? Young boy. What did just, I tell Maybe like? just, no, nah, nah, not even young boy things. Like, sometimes it's just about timing. Mm-hmm. And as a young nigga, I didn't really understand timing as much as I do now. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you got to get the pussy wet. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And I feel saying? like, like you're more concerned you about coming take versus time making her come. Yeah, you young, know what I'm saying? But yeah. you got to take your time. Like, it's not about... One night stands. It's not about hitting it on the first day and shit. Like, like I actually prefer not to hit on the first day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it builds up anticipation. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see how unique Aquarius is. Are yes, you definitely. never hear shit like that though. Too. You don't. Do you like it? You unique? Pussy? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> he said, "Ooh, you got yeah." The good question. Yeah, I do. I'm, yeah. That shit just came out of left field. I was like, "Oh." She, and she's I'm just like, you yeah. like you're saying you're good in bed, so I'm trying to see how you good can't be good in bed yeah. if you don't eat pussy. Yeah. I mean, there's men True. out there that you can't be good. I'm sorry, I, feel like I cannot ass stand when like we're doing nail. foreplay and like you to eat ass me is out required to nail. Ah, I don't like that. That's crazy. We talked about that already. Let's just mm. move past it. Do you like to use lube? Nah. He don't need to. You got to get your pussy wet. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Um, you know. I take my time. And shit. I'm anti- now, can I can't you, um, imagine a guy wanting to have sex and not eating pussy. I feel like that's the first thing they always go for. It's like right. clothes off, exactly. face, and my face. You're saying you right gotta away. lick it before you stick it. You gotta yeah. lick it. I don't know. I'm More thinking that. Period, though. Yeah, I, I, she turned into an OG over there. She got the joke. <laughs> you gotta lick it before you <laughs> stick it, baby. <laughs> you got to. OG, Angela. <laughs> yeah. I can't yeah. even imagine a guy oh, not, man, not, just not yeah. doing you that. I feel like it's the full game. It's the conversation. It's the how we yeah. banter back and forth. It's the vibe. It's how yeah. we talk shit in the text. Yeah. But it's I need mine too. Me. I need mine too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I need, yeah. I need my I, head No, I feel like I when it's in. a sexual chemistry, it's like face magnets. Like my face is a magnet. Yours is. Mm. Yeah, no, sex when you just go it's straight magnetic into it. for sure. Yeah, it's it's magnetic. magnetic for sure. Now, know? what about and that's just, why it's important to build that anticipation right, and shit like that because that right. increased the magnetism. No, that's why you don't fuck on the first the, um, date. Yeah, I, no. Even though I've had a, a great sexual experience with somebody that I met and we just ended up having some great sex just in a couple hours. Damn. I'm, I will never lie about that. Yeah. But. I feel well, like you know, the some best sex I've had for. was sex that I may wait a little while. Sometimes Besides that one, that was yeah. like a special one. Too scary. And, you know, yeah. some people, some people, you just got it out for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's like you meet that person is like, damn, you got it out for me yeah, like that it too. Was this, like I've Fuck never it. had a one night stand. I thought this guy was gonna end up being a one night stand, but the way it happened, like we met, our eyes connected, and then. I don't know. We like ended up in a it's fucking like a movie. I ended it's up magnetic. in a handstand and shit. Anyway. <laughs> like, magnetic. We ended up fucking up a whole cell room. But he and I did end up having a relationship, a long term relationship after that. Now, what about masturbating? Do I don't masturbate. He doesn't like to come. I think that's weird. But maybe for he a man, not for a woman. Come. I think so. I believe that women are the more sexual sexual beings. You know, what I mean, they're the more sexual. Jenna, I feel like as a man, it's like you should be in control. Like you should have self control f- over yourself. It's like if you at home masturbating, it's like nigga, what are you doing? Like you wasting your time. There's shit that could be done. You know what I'm saying? Like you want women? Like you need to fucking do shit. You know what I'm saying? And if you sitting home watching porn masturbating, I just think that's Joey. Some of them have to rub shit. one out, or they'll come in two seconds. Some of them have to rub one out. Fellas at home, <laughs> well, don't listen, listen to niggas got to stop being some first. sorry ass <laughs> nah, niggas. Nah, but I feel like the self control thing. That's that is it. Just it is part of the measure of a man. Like <laughs> how can fast. how much can you control yourself? What if you come fast, Stephanie. <laughs> you don't want to masturbate. <laughs> if you and come fast, it's because you thinking about pussy too much. I ain't mad at the masturbating, but I understand what he's saying. So you've never met so when you were younger. I'm asking you when you were younger, you masturbated. For sure, for sure, okay. I used to masturbate. For sure, it's, mm-hmm. this was me. This is like part of my process of maturing into a man. It's like you know, where I started to realize like, nah, that's that's like. I don't know. Like, I ain't going to knock anybody, but you just, I just won't be you doing it. You got more that. self-control. Yeah, you. that's just weird behavior to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For me to be in the so crib just whacking off. Like, that's wicked to me. Alone. That's wild. Yeah, nah. Alone. 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 Yeah. <laughs> but I got options so and shit. Like, that's, that means I have no self-control. Because I got options <laughs> and I still got to whack one off. Like, Whoa. Well, what if you're stressed out and it helps you go to sleep? Nah, I Yo, go to sleep other ways. I went through a little phase of that, going to sleep like I'll that. Smoke a me too, I have to. I've it's been through that phase. Yo. So where but I, I can't but sleep. But he said, like, I, 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 I felt like I didn't have no self control. I felt like a freak. I totally and did. And this was, was you know, crazy. me learning, like, you know what I'm saying, as I was growing older. Because when I was younger, I used to definitely be addicted to masturbation. When I was 16, 17, to be wilding. And my grandmother was wilding. Sorry, grandma. I'm just saying, it's like, you know, this. 
<laughs> Any nigga relate to that shit right there, but it's just, yeah. As you get older, it's like, you, I feel like you come to a point you realize that's weird on nigga behavior. Yeah. Bro. That's like some little kid shit. Like you think so? It's so normal. I think we I feel, feel like. dirty after. For like, one like one you feel dirty. did you feel dirty after too? Like hell yeah, I feel <laughs> shameful. Did. After I wrote I feel one, like I was like, in a like, finish position. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like I have to close, especially if I use porn, I have to close it out because I'm ashamed of what yeah, I Yeah, I'm ashamed. Oh, yeah. I'm ashamed of what I chose. I can't even tell y'all what I choose. Look at porn and then masturbating. After masturbating is over and I see the porn. I'm like, wow, I'm the just butt. disgusting. <laughs> Shut up. Like, I'm just nasty. I wish with it. Don't you say it. Okay, I'm not going to say it. I can't it. believe I did that <laughs> shit, bro. I can't believe this made me Maybe come right now. That's just a random category God forgive to me, pick. please. What it's category? not real, Angela. No, I want to talk about Which it. Which category? Just move, let's just move past what? it. All right, fine. She won't tell it. A stepdaughter? I whispered her. I covered the mic and I said to her in confidence, I'm drunk. It gets a little incestuous. Well, so what's the question? <laughs> uh, her category of what porn. What category of porn do you use? Step to get oh, whoa. Don't step do that. Don't do that. Wait, wait, wait. Let's move on. Step daughter's mad weird. Hold your kids. Muffle, 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 muffle. I thought we were like just talking about too, some other though. shit. You're I ain't even still on the porn. Oh, okay. That's just, it's, it's fake. It's the storyline. It's real, bro. Yeah. It's his child. Sometimes they black and white. Listen, that's how I feel. I was on here one time and they was talking about what porn you watch. And I was like, school porn. And I was like, wait. I don't mean like school porn. I mean like the teachers, their teachers, like the and play. then the role play, the role play. type. I ain't gonna lie, I've always wanted to do that shit. I never yeah. what role play? Hell yeah! I feel like you would. Yeah, I feel like I would too. Mm -hmm. Be a home intruder. Oh my shit. god! So, yeah. Yeah. so for you one take crack. the pussy, I pull a gun out. You like put that gun away, bitch. <laughs> I came <laughs> to fuck. I'm not trying to rob so you. So what, what would your role if you had to role dog, play? It's the plumber. It's the plumber. Uh, you can clean my okay. face. Santa Claus. <laughs> I did on um, Mrs. Claus. You like, did. I, what you it was like up? around Christmas time. On Christmas Day, like the kids is already, you know, gone. And I put on like the, the robe, the Miss Santa Claus robe, which yeah. is like some nice fishnets and stuff. And I was cooking breakfast. I knew he was about to come in. So was he Santa though? He fucked it up. Uh, no, what did he do? <laughs> he was so like, he, could, he was uh, so like, so it was like half, I'm like, bro, half like Jesus have to it was too sexy. But I, as soon as you I, call I the guy, it. bro, it's over. I, I saved it. And he got, because I didn't, but it was just like, ah, <laughs> oh, you killed it. the whole <laughs> So I got to do it over. only fun so if you... I, got, I need to do it in character. You got to oh, hold he, it yeah, in. He definitely <laughs> So the plumber. The okay, so let's see the scenario. So you're the plumber. All right. And you do role play, right? I mean, I've done that home intruder thing. Okay. <laughs> you're such a thug. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you come to the it's door. Like you robbing yeah. me. All right, and so what do you say? Um, Who is it? It's the plumber. Okay. I've come to fix the sink. I didn't know Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't order a plumber. This is kind of nice. On, guys. This she freaky. Let's go. No, no, no. This is crazy. She did not go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. She said I didn't know this is content. She going to start a video. Now you're supposed to be like, Joey, back out of the way. Go ahead. You should be like, yes, I'm clogged up. Oh. You wow. See, she's sad. You gotta take a shit. I don't like it. She's sad. I don't like how she's taking it. I don't like where she's took it. I said, let's do a robbery. She called me a thug. I said, I wanna do a robbery. Put your hands up, put your hands down, bitch. I ain't come for your money. Wait, but continue. I wanna hear. Yeah. We wanna hear the rest. I mean, shit, we got a call about, you know, something being backed up. The pipes. It's Mona. Mona, this is not right now. <laughs> you blush it. <laughs> She's blushing. I can't. The clog just threw me off. I just Go can't ahead. get with it. You clogged up. I didn't. I didn't order a plumber. You sure? But you sexy though. <laughs> You can unclog these pipes. Come on in. <laughs> hey, I would never hey, be listen, 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 listen. It's, it's me in the so, apartment across. Okay, she bye, didn't, bye. but I did. Oh, yeah, look, now it's lit. Now it's lit. The apartment for B, like, hold on. <laughs> Actually, now it's, it's the bathroom. Oh, it was this in apartment. In my mess. Yeah, yeah, already, oh, yeah, this that apartment. Yeah, that apartment. Okay, yeah. And I already prepaid, so come on. Okay. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Can you show me uh, where's the problem, man? Well, I didn't mean let's keep going with me, though. I wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try your scenario, Mona. Okay, this, he's, this is an intruder. Right, now that's more my thing. Oh, intruder. So, like, I'm frying fish, and you come in with a, with a I'm going to grab a pistol. You don't have a pistol, so I'm frying the fish. And you come out from behind me. Nigga, get out of my house. Put that gun down. <laughs> this feel real. I'm <laughs> 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 That's too much. I'm going to 
Tara Reid. We good at it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Back out, back out. My face is too much. It's okay. It's okay. Next thing. I feel like she got a little wet. I don't know. It's got a little wet. It's got a little wet. Yeah, that's it. I'm in a hole. I'm not a thug. Now you going to go home and try it. That's the better one. I've been wanting to do role play so bad. Remember like in Sex in the City when Samantha first started dating? What's his name? The Smith young Jared. Guy. They used to do like they in the beginning he was an actor and they used to they did the intruder yes. and they would dress they up as the young guy. They, they did a whole ba- a whole bunch of shit and I've I always wanted this. Damn, what was that role play, play be? Yeah. Yeah. I never yeah. did it. This like, is what he I'm comes saying, in like, and like takes her down. If, if if my man got it like if you're dating if like I said if you're being honest you gave me the choice I said okay like stuff like, keep me on my feet keep right. me entertained keep me like I don't I want to make sure that you. I don't want to think about it. Like you told me, but you're doing so much stuff. Like in the all right, I'm gonna give you a scenario. Ways. Okay, Laura, you ready to act? Oh <laughs> okay. shit! Okay, all right, right now, Unique is coming to the door. You a fiend? Oh, is you Unique oh, a fiend? <laughs> oh There's my god! Here. You see how she doing? Yeah, I gotta be. So I gotta turn a crack I'm a, sexy. I'm a plumber. I'm plugged up, and you a crack. I'm yeah, crazy. crazy. Unique would even be doing personal drop. Yeah, yeah. Like, like you wouldn't. She be a boss. Sexy crackhead. You turned her into a fiend. Mm-hmm. Right. Fiend for both. Well, or maybe I'm trying to get her to stop fiending. There you go. Okay. You know, I'm giving her another addiction. This is getting deep. Damn. That sounds like therapy. It does. <laughs> Come to the it door, does. Laura. But sometimes, you know, therapy is good. <laughs> therapy is so good. So which therapy are you here to give me today? Which addiction are you here to satisfy? Um, Heavy on the dick. Well, you know, you got a choice. <laughs> is uh, pink tops or blue tops today. <laughs> Laura, <laughs> dick tops. This is boring. You guys are terrible. This is the first time I'm doing that. This is the boring. Listen, first of all, you need to come to the door. Like, <laughs> girls love that character. Yes. Yes. Real quick. yes, bitches love Unique for real. A word? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm. You did a great, honestly. Women like bad boys, though. That's what we like. You know? No, you did a great job on there. Thank mm-hmm. you. For sure. Thank for real. You. And you know what? I'm not going to lie. When I saw Two Distant Strangers at first, I didn't even realize that was you. That's good. It's a good thing. Actually, I oh. was talking about that on the air. I was like, I didn't at first. I was like, where is Joey Badass? And I didn't even realize that was you at first. Yeah, when that shit came out, I was like, oh, I can't wait for Unique to come out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't yeah. wait so niggas yeah. can see my range and you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, that was obviously a specific type of role. And I never thought I'd play a role like that. Mm-hmm. But a uh, shout out to my man, James Samuel. Uh, oh, he's yes. the one who created The Heart of They Fall mm-hmm. and everything. I was supposed to be in that, actually. But then I had took the role for Unique, like... He literally called me a week later to come do Harder They Fall. Damn, I just that's took hard when you got to make those decisions. Well, I already made it. Right. It was like out of my pot. It was meant to It was meant to be, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But then a couple months later, he hit me about the Two Distant Strangers role. And he was like, yo, I'm telling you, play this role, boom, boom, boom. And it's like, that shit manifested beautifully, mm-hmm. you know? It's do you Oscar. feel like with Unique such a big character and that show so successful that people kind of care you like that now? Like people talk to you like Unique or get be angry with you um, like Unique? Is it that type of thing? Mm-hmm. I don't know. You know, to be honest, I don't really be outside enough yeah. like to even like really measure. Only at Nets games. See how the streets can. Yeah. That, you know <laughs> that what I'm saying? One thing. Like it's definitely mm-hmm. like a part of like, I don't know. It's like I got the haircut now. Like I had to cut my dreads off for this role. So it's like I feel like people definitely kind of see it mm-hmm. when I'm out. You know what I mean? Because it's like this literally the nigga who played right. the character. It's like mm-hmm. the nigga look like he's still in character. He got the part. It's mm-hmm. like we still shooting <laughs> for this Bobby shit Brown. actively. So it's like yeah. you know that's why I be throwing on hats more and shit now to like just be more Joey. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Right. People not just even like, the song Revenge that kind of. Feel a little unique, unique vibes. Unique yeah, for yeah, sure, yeah, for, for sure, sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, and, and you had a lot to say on that. Can we talk about that for yeah, a let's second? Go, let's do it. Let's do because it. everybody's been like music, 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 but clearly you've been act, uh, busy with your acting. Mm-hmm. So that song, why was that like the comeback? You know, new music coming song for you. Well, you know, I had I had previewed it at like a few shows. Joey's that I Revenge. Did. Yeah, yeah, I previewed it at a few shows that I did. Like. Um, back in like the fall and it just went crazy live like yo who blowing me up I did it at Rolling Loud um it was another show I did and it's just like the fan reception the crowd response was so crazy and it's like I love having a hype song to perform because I'm such a traditional rap artist Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying it's like my style is usually boom bap but like you know what you call classic rap and shit like that so me also being a festival performer, like I understand the dynamics of having a good up tempo song. So like that's just kind of like the energy that I wanted to be on coming back. And I like to show people 
that I got range, right. that I could do more than what they expect of me. Because, you know, with artistry, people always try to throw you in a box yes. and shit like that. You know what I mean? So I always like to come back and be like, oh, boom. But you ain't know I was going to come with that left right. hook because I'm such a righty. You I know what I'm saying? I do a lot of shit. That's yeah. interesting because your fans have do have like this expectation <laughs> and sometimes you can't please everybody. Like you yeah, want to grow, like, you want to show range, but sure. then people want you to stay the for Joey sure. badass they know. And it's like what I realized too, like what I've learned to accept is people going to always have something to say. Like the quicker we could accept that as human beings, we'd be living such a fruitful life. We were just sure. talking you know about I mean? that. Because yeah, sure. I'll tell you yeah. what, if I didn't drop revenge and if I let people get to my head and like just continue doing what I was doing first, niggas gonna be like, oh, Joey gotta grow. Joey never gonna grow out this sound. And also I would have regretted not putting that song out because boom, now I'm back on stage again and I feel like I ain't got something that's like monstrous that's gonna, you know, send shockwaves through the crowd and everything. So it's just I've been coming to terms with that as like, I'm good with criticism. Like, I really don't give a fuck. Because at the end of the day, niggas don't know me. They're not having the conversations with me. And I've accepted the fact that I'm a public figure. So it's like, once you become a public figure, you're free game. Right. Mm -hmm. Niggas is going to talk Joey. about you. You know what I'm saying? And it is what it is. Like, I can't get offended if somebody say some shit about something that I did publicly. Like, it is what it is. That's your opinion Did now. you kind of put you it out If you disrespect me... That's a different thing. You know what I'm saying? We address that when, you know what I'm saying? When I see you in person and that's what it is. And but, you know what I'm is the best revenge. That's the answer you give yeah. to people that hate on you. Or the clock a nigga. Yeah. Period. That, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Period, you know? You know? But it is I will so, see you. Yeah. It is supposed to fuel you though, right? People hating on you is supposed to fuel you to be like, okay, hate I all you totally want. I totally disagree with you. It's even better nowhere. though when you, when you know that like, if, the reason why they're hating is mm -hmm. like, so first of all, everybody who could be possibly hating is not the niggas who's buying your music. It's not the True. niggas who's buying your merch. It's not mm. the niggas who's buying tickets to your show. They're not cutting the check. It's the niggas who's like right outside of that who just kind of looking for a reason to not fuck with you. Right. But guess what? All of them haters still going to listen to my album because right. they want to confirm why they was hating. Right. You know what I'm saying? They want to be like, you like, see, I, I told, told you. you it was trash, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. But it's like, listen to the album. And I'm like, oh shit, like niggas, now they gonna have nothing to say. This is gonna be quiet, you know what I'm saying? I disagree with that though, being fueled by hate. I just think it's corny. And I think it's like everybody jumped on that thing where it's like, my haters, my motivators. No, mm -hmm. they hate that negativity like that. It's disgusting, it's oh, gross. Okay, yeah. I'm heavy on the block button stuff. Same. My fucking block list long as shit. <laughs> my my block list longer than my followers. My you hear me? But you I can go, block nigga. Block longer than your block. I agree <laughs> with that. Listen, I you agree don't have with to that. stay here. You but can go. But they not going nowhere, right? And I block everybody too. But I also feel like if you hate on me, it's just... It is nothing you could really do about it. It isn't, you, but but I just that negative. Just you looking and you being negative. I don't think that's helpful for they're people. They're gonna create. I understand what you're saying. saying. I'm not I'm not all you could do is but, turn it but, around. But, though. I'm real nice with the block hand. I'm crazy with it. Like <laughs> I really, quick, know, I'll explain it later. Quick with that. Yeah, I'm not one of those people who says, "Oh, I love my, I love my haters." Yeah, fuck them. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm I'm fuck them. Yeah. But you can't let it get you down. You also sure. got it. You also have to be like. This is how I look at it. If you hate me now, you're going to hate me even more. Yeah. Oh, God. Because. And even like what Kanye said is like, shit, I'd be worried if they were saying nothing. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. The fact that niggas got to spend energy to hate is mm -hmm. like, damn, like I must be pop. I must be doing something right. It's like you take your time out your day to spew a negative mm -hmm. comment to someone. Like that's crazy. That yeah. person, that's giving you a stream and a But that shows how much power that person got over you. Over like right. I just motivated you to fucking dish mm -hmm. energy out, yeah, like, whether it's negative or positive. They're always picking apart lip service, and I'm just like, listen, Angie, if they don't pick us apart, then we're doing something <laughs> wrong. Then we're doing something wrong, nah, for sure. Yeah, those you know? comments. Right, they're sure. always picking for us sure. apart. So since you mentioned Ye, let me ask you this. Have you ever gotten into a fight over a woman? Because you see he want to fight Pete nah, Davidson. never, never, never mm -hmm. got into a fight over a woman. I feel like, you know, that's, um, <laughs> that's a little unmanly, you know what I'm saying? Like, Unless a man clearly disrespects you and your boundaries that you have set to him over a woman, like I don't think it's ever right for a man to like fight a woman, like you know. No, not fight over. a woman, but fight over. I mean, her. I mean, not fight a woman. Uh, Sorry, I was like, fight no, we don't want you to do that. That's definitely not right. That's definitely not right. We don't do that. You mean like if you tell him stay away? You mean like if you tell him stay away from my bitch and then he? Yeah, for okay. sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's if definitely. you set the boundaries, like, boom, boom, boom. Like, yo, I know you and my shorty probably had some history, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> but now I'm letting you know, yeah. like, nigga, yeah. you know, it right. is what That's it fine. is, but respect the line. And if yeah. he go beyond that line, then you have every right to sock that nigga in the face when you see him. Because I told you, stupid. <laughs> like, now you disrespecting me. You know right. what I'm saying? But 
in a situation like that, it's like you gotta take that up with the woman, woman bro, or yeah. you gotta take that up with yourself, nigga. Like mm, you fell yeah. short and she moved on. You know, I'm not talking to gay specifically. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm speaking in general and shit like that. But um, yeah, and I don't, I don't think, know if he really and, like, honestly, fighting. let's be real. You know, Ye is smart. He said that shit the same yeah. way we saying. Like, he want people Great to talk buzz. about the songs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he like, really want to fight him for real. I don't think real. he really want to, you like, know. And I, and I also feel like with artists, like, even with me, I'm a comedian. That's how I get my shit off. Right. I'm putting everything into the joke because it makes me feel better at the time. It doesn't mean I'm really going to do half that shit. People take some of the artistry too serious. Now, rap is different, I guess, because it's lyrical. But for me, like, that's how I get my shit off. You shouldn't take my joke serious because oh, they're yeah. fucking jokes. They done met you. They done make you laugh. That's the whole point. I want to make you laugh. It's entertainment at the end of the day, too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, this generation just so sensitive, though. It sucks. Nowadays. Like, it's, it's, it's trash the way this whole society has transformed in the last eight years. Yeah. Like, like you can't say years. shit. And the you cancer culture shit, shit is just You know what I'm saying? Poop. The cancer, yo, like... <laughs> but I don't I want to say some shit, but, but I'm you like, can't even, damn. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, don't, I ain't... Like, I don't care to <clears> be... Because I'm a public figure, I'm aware that when I say certain things, it's going to send certain shock waves and it's going to become a headline. And that's the part that I don't care about. Mm -hmm. I care about the message. However, I don't care about me becoming a distraction for people. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, Joey Badass said this shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like most of the times, I'd rather just fall back. And it's like, if you know me, you know what I'm saying? You know why I stand on everything. Like, you know what I mean? But. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you ever, um, this is a so random question, because I'm thinking about all the other things that you do with the modeling, right? And so you're around all different kinds of people. Have you ever slept with a white woman? Of when course. I was younger. Mm -hmm. when I was you younger, said, of course. I don't know. I mean, well, of course. When I was younger, mm -hmm. but you know, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying not to say anything that's going to get me in trouble. Yeah, I, was, I was about to ask <laughs> a question so, and I thought about it. Why? Mind. But I mean, a preference is a preference. Like, what's your preference? Oh, man. Preference is Don't a preference. Is it different? <laughs> is it different? Like Listen, as far as like- Let me, let me just say this. This is all I'm going to say. I love my black queens. I love my black woman and- I don't know. Black women just make me feel a certain type of way. He's and, the know, best. That's where I rock with. You Joey Badass for president. That's nice. Yeah, okay. like, Actually, love, he wanted to be my president Ebony's, when he... Like, period. Wasn't that? I love my melanin queens, my melanin goddesses. That's it. Like, that's you know right. I mean? I'm not going to lie. I I, that's love... not taken away from anybody from any other races. I you love my Dominicanas the... too. I ain't going to lie. But, wait, but I feel the same way. I really love black men. I like dark skin. I like dark skin. I really love black men. I like dark skin. I really love black men. I like I like dark skin. I really love black men. But it's just something about my Puerto Rican men. They see. And you know what? Birds of a feather flock together. You know what's so crazy? That's all it is. It's like the blue jays hang with the blue jays. I color. I'm just like, oh, I like dark, dark, black, <laughs> yes, I dark, love me a like, dark Puerto um, Rican. Everyone asked me being Dominican, like, you like Spanish, but I've never like, no. Like, but you could be Dominican and dark. I know. No, I'm not saying there's them dark skin. Please, I don't, fabulous they don't, is I like. his same color. You were saying we're Dominican. black too. I consider Dominican. This is women I consider black. myself black, but there's a lot of Dominicans that consider themselves. Not black. You took Not the black. words out of my mouth. I'm from North Philly. Yeah. It's predominantly Dominican. I've never met a North Philly Dominican girl that felt black, that told me she was black. I, 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 I am Dominican. And I'm black. Yeah. And, growing right. up, <laughs> listen, and growing up, I was black. Right. Even with my family. like So that's why it's like, no, I identify. And I love me a dark black man. Yeah. Like, me too. I don't know if I'm allowed to say like, that. You can say They that. call me white bitches. They think I'm white. I'm full black. I'm all black. They call me white all the time. I love don't you. call you me white, white girl. You think you black because you got I don't, black kids. I, don't think, I think at me. this point in my life, though, I'm over um, choosing my man. Like, oh, he has to be a black guy or he has to be a white guy or he has to be a Puerto Rican guy. I just feel like, you know, whatever God sends me. Whatever. I don't think whoever I mean, pussy we, yeah. we, don't we, have Listen. <laughs> there's one thing, I, I, I'm not going to stop dating black men because I like Puerto Rican guys or vice versa. You know? There's, there's one thing we all think about what our kids gonna look like. <laughs> yeah. that's, and that's what Black I'm and Puerto Rican is nice though. Yeah, Black yeah. and Puerto Rican is good. Saying. We all think about the blends, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's a good blend. That's it. Like, it's just never yeah, no, I, I, never I, about, I want my saying. kids to look like me. I want my right. kids to have that mm -hmm. chocolate oh, okay, skin like it. me. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I yeah, I want my kids to be chocolate. Word up. Yeah. Now see if I say I want my kids to be chocolate, I really did because. I went through so much being so light, and my mother's very light. My mother went through a lot being light, so I did want my kids to have some color, though. I did. You know, mm -hmm. you want to protect your kids, so. I never thought about it. I feel like I'm very accepting of all things just because mm -hmm. of how I grew up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, like I, I never, that, I, I never I, thought I, I that, do, like, I want my kids to be. 
You never thought about that? Like a color. Mm. Mm. I don't think I don't think yes, I'm I sexually. Boys. I don't right. think I'm sexually. Yeah, your, children, racist. your sons are brown. Yeah, my sexually kids are brown. racist. My, my nah, little I don't think I don't dark. think it's like, But it's like mm-hmm. I love it. I tell them every day, Poppy, you are so handsome. So your good. skin complexion is amazing. I love it. And so it's my other my I got a butter pecan. It's gold. And I got a milk. Chocolate. You got chocolate. I love it. Mm-hmm. It's gold. You know I, I don't think I'm um I don't think I'm racial about my sexuality. I don't have any racial preference. When it comes to your pink pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's your plus accent. So, this lady so you is like crazy. Everything. I don't like I mean, I wanna say that I just don't wanna limit myself. You know, I wanna get married one day. I wanna find a man for me and I'm not gonna be like, oh, he's not it because he's white. But right. what's your favorite? Tell them what your favorite. My favorite is, is oh, half God. black and half Puerto Rican. <laughs> Come That's on, how specific is that? It's so it's specific. Rela- it's, it's, you know That's what it is? It's relatability. You no, know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, somebody you can relate and to. And me, I'm I'm a New York Rican. I'm very, uh, uh, but I'm I'm close to my culture. I listen to the music. I, I like to talk Spanish with my friends, and you know. Um, I, I like for my man to be culture, whatever his culture is. You know, I like him to be into his, his to know himself. I just like to learn shit. Like Me that's too. all I and want. I like when I'm in learn. a relationship with somebody, I want to learn some things that I never knew before. I want that's you to like. Most- Help step me up in ways, and I do the same thing. And for but, me, you know, that's, that's priority, priority in a relationship. Yeah, I, like, I have to be able to teach and learn in yeah, my relationship. Same, you know. Like I feel like I could learn in any room that I'm in. You know, what I mean, I'm like I'm as humble as they come. Like mm-hmm. I could take direction from a kid, and I could learn from a kid. But like I do like to teach my partners. You know, what I'm saying I do like to. Uh, be some type of guiding, a positive, motivating uh, force <laughs> inside, you know, my partner's lives. No, and when it comes to me, I feel like a man can get to learn so much from me when it comes to religion and culture because I'm so deep into it and I, I really appreciate teaching, but I have to be able to learn from it's my man. It's hard to discuss religion in relationships. No, yeah. you'd be surprised. Depends it's sometimes. enlightening. Yeah, it depends, though. It depends because my religion is not changing. As long as so you have respect. To talk about. <laughs> As long as you have respect for everybody's beliefs, it's it's a it's a good conversation. Yeah, that's yeah. a fact. I was yeah. uh, I was raised non-denomination. Mm-hmm. Like my mom's, it it was one conversation that we had that like pretty much led me to being an open-minded soul. And it's like I remember I was like eight years old. I was in the back in the back seat riding with my mom's and. You know how Flatbush Brooklyn is. You see like the Presbyterian church, then you see like the Catholic Every church, morning. then you see there's all these different type of churches. Mm-hmm. And then I was going to school and I had a Muslim girl in my class. So, you know, questions started to arise. And I asked my mom, like, yo, mom, what um what what's our religion? And she said, We're non-denomination, meaning that we believe we don't have a religion, but we believe in God. And Mm -hmm. that allowed me to be open minded to Mm -hmm. like respect everybody else's thinking, but also still keep my spirituality, still keep my open connection with what I thought was just undeniable, which is this outside force. I I would say I'm more like agnostic now. Right. It's like, you know, I believe in a higher power. I believe in God. Like I wake up every morning, I pray all that. Like I pray multiple times of the day, Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But um, I definitely don't identify with a specific religion. I actually feel like we all kind of in a way supposed to have our own religion. Well, Joe, you pray multiple times a day and you believe in polygamy. You sound pretty Muslim. But I feel like um, I feel like as long as you believe in, in something bigger and, and a higher power and God, the universe, whatever you want to call it, it's so much to learn. You're never going to stop learning. I think I'm yeah, a spiritual sure. person, but mm-hmm. I grew up going to church because my grandfather was very religious. He was like doing missionary stuff and everything and traveling and donating all his money to the church. Your black <laughs> grandfather? Mm-hmm. Yeah, your, your black grandfather. You said you okay. grew up what? Um, going to church a lot. What religion? So he was Pentecostal. Mm. And so my mom used to go to church, but then my dad, who is Chinese, he did not ever go to church. And my grandfather used to write me letters and be like, your mom is a heathen now because your father's a heathen. (laughs) (laughs) He was like, you don't want to go to hell. And he would always give me Bibles and everything. Damn. Wow, yeah. that was a lot. That's pressure. <laughs> no, it was a lot of pressure. That's pressure. But I just try to be like, I'm. I'm a very spiritual person, but I do feel like, you know, I do want to like. I haven't been to church in so long, 
I kind of want to just go and was we'll your, go. Was, was no, if you feel like you you want if you want to go, you should go yeah. in and yeah. the Pentecostals want to get the Holy Ghost. Plus, I could go online. No shade. Yeah. Do, 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 do you pray every day? That. You pray. Yeah, every, every day, all okay. the time, and I pray about everything, and I thank God for everything. Yes. I just always like in every church experience I've ever had, I've just always kind of felt like an outcast mm. you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying like I've never felt home in a church that I've been to I've never been to a mosque mm. you know church I mean? is here it's in the heart yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's, and that's what know, I feel Julie. like but I feel like with every experience is like you know I feel like I'm being judged by somebody mm-hmm. in the church by good. the pastor or something and um, yeah that always just kind of repelled me mm. from church like but I have a very strong deep connection to God like I take my connection with God so serious and I feel like if I'm with a partner if I'm with a woman like she has to have that same type of connection yeah, with God sure. too because everything with me is like I'm, I'm a man who's led by spirit like it's all intuitive it's all spiritual like which connects to the emotional and the intellectual physical is like the last thing so if I don't feel that connection, even with just business deals and shit like that, then mm-hmm. it's just I don't trip over opportunities because if it missed me, I just look at it like I'm it wasn't. It wasn't I gave my me. life. I, I gave my life I'm, to my faith, and I moved forward in faith, and I still am. And um, I had this idea that I wanted a man to be into his faith as much as I am, and that's really hard. So what ended up happening? What happens now is I put faith into the man I'm with. Every guy I'm with, I'm like putting faith into him. Like, you know, God is amazing, right? <laughs> well, I does think that work out though? Does, do they already open to No, them? I have to be honest. It, it does work out. Every time I leave a man, I know I left him with more God in, in him and, and that makes me feel good. Yeah. I thank God for everything. It'd be like stupid. I'd be like, no, I, I'd I, be like, can I find a parking spot? Thank you, God. I thank know that you, God, was you. Me too. I'm the same way. I'm the same way. No, I, I think for every little thing, I'd be like, oh my God, I got to make, thank you, God. I know that no, was you. <laughs> and I make it a point every day, no, the facts. first words out of my mouth to be, thank you, God. Facts. It's so important, important to be grateful but what what happens with men is like I was with somebody who when I met his family they said you know he doesn't believe in God right because I'm always bringing up the conversation of religion and his brother was like you know he don't believe in God right and I'm like what are you talking about I make him pray with me all the time and now you know six seven years later this man is a praying man he he believes in God he's he's so faith forward and that's part even of that even though we, even though he and I will be on and off I know when we're not together he's he's he became a praying person and that makes me feel really good yeah. about did your job girl Stephanie? yeah yeah <laughs> I, so, so like I said it works out like even if the relationship doesn't work out they take God God men take the faith in because it's not I'm not pressuring them into a religion I'm Christian you have to be Christian I'm not you know it, it's just it's very important for me to be with somebody who also has faith that's it. It's yeah, just really up. important. You're supposed to be a missionary going door to door. There you go. <laughs> no. Well, Joey, we appreciate you, know. you so much. I know your it's your birthday week, so I appreciate you for coming through. And oh, I know yeah, you're no super doubt. busy. And no so doubt. this means a lot to me, though, because like I said, I've been trying to get you up here. Every time I see you, I don't be pushing too hard. No, this I, is the perfect time, and though. Mm-hmm. Like we couldn't have picked a, a better time yeah, to we do had a this. Birthday party. You know what I'm saying? And so. we had a little mini yeah, birthday party. Yeah, we had a party. party. We gave him his first I did, party. I did. I did. I did. Now your friends got <laughs> shit to live up to. Surprise. Cupcakes, candles lit. All of January niggas got to live up to. You know, niggas had to say. I was like, cue up the music. Cue up the music. We were trying to decide what birthday songs to play. And I was like, we got to play 50 Cent in the club because he's on Raising Cannon. We raised the bar for all of January birthdays you celebrate. They got to get a point. Yeah, they got to got to come hard. I appreciate we, the Aquarius you know and the squad for you we, lose us. We like the, what you call it, we like the torch bearers. We bring the year sure, in. So sure. it's, it's <laughs> important. She said, ah. Yeah, I know, Capricorns you know, is doing that. Pisces is right back there. We go ahead and. <laughs> oh, Are you going to eat? Yes. Yeah, so, February? Mm-hmm. End of it. Are you going to ejaculate for your birthday at least? <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Wow. Yeah. Shit, Are you going to come? Yeah. At, least, <laughs> at least ejaculate I, I for your birthday. I might. I just might. I just might because I was thinking about doing a little abstinent period after my birthday. So. <laughs> wow. You gotta get some out first. Get one of your girls a to lot. send you. Not <laughs> get a lot out. Nah, she ain't gotta send me that. I could just, you know, we could play together. Hmm. Well, I need a video. She could. Well, well, if you you busy and you all over the place, so <laughs> that's true. But you know, it's my birthday. It's that's the one right. day out the year Come I got through. an excuse to just do, do whatever, whatever the do fuck I want. want. Yeah, get tied up. up. 
Okay, sorry. You got a, you got a domination's future <laughs> inside of you. Like, I can't, I can't like, wait to have this combo again in a year. And then you have a domination's like, like, all right, I opened up, I got and a whip, I got chains, I got the swing. <laughs> I'm not full of domination for a little bit. Uh-huh. So was your mom's more dominant? No, not at all. What? Mm-mm. Mm. So not why why why'd you turn out this way? <laughs> I don't know that I'm dominant. She I just am like a, I'm controlling, but I wouldn't say I'm dominant. Like I'm you a very said, nah, you it's dominant. the same thing yeah. almost. You think yeah. so? Yes, yeah, yeah. it's almost hand in hand for sure. If you tell a nigga it's don't power. come until I tell you to come. <laughs> oh shit. I didn't say that. Oh, 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 don't you come, motherfucker. Oh, you better be in a fetus position by this <laughs> by the time I'm done with you. That was wicked. Yeah, that was I ain't gonna lie. That was, bro, I'm that tweeting was, that for the rest of the year. That was this pussy ain't good if I don't leave you in a fetal position. That's right. That I'm funny. going viral with that. And it's hers. I stole it. That was wild as shit. Work the baby. Know. I do not tell these. people. I don't like to be don't. defeated. But I got to I gotta do the defeating. Is she supposed to be fetal, Joey? That's it. The fuck? She got to be a We're fucking, uh, what you call it? Like like a fucking starfish. Like yes. she laid out. She can't oh, do yeah. shit no See, now why like, is that okay? And not a fetal position that's just the natural Because I am things. a man. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Um, you just got to trust a woman enough to allow you to just... Oh no! I trust my baby to submit and you know do what I say. She, that's it. I trust to my submit baby. and do, do what, what I say. say. Mm-hmm. Ow. When Ow. is it? And when is the album coming? I know you said it's almost done or it's pretty much done. I'm shooting for the end of this quarter. Okay. Yeah. So all right. soon, soon enough. All right, cool. We all months. gonna ejaculate to that. <laughs> <laughs> She crazy. Oh, God. She crazy. She's crazy. Right. This was an experience. First time ever on Lip Service. Definitely not the last time. Definitely yeah. not. I'll come back, see when you become we a dominatrix. Yeah. <laughs> next we, year. She will have all leather on next time you see it. Next time we come back, we all got to be role playing. Yeah. I'm going to show up as a as an electrician. Listen. What you going to be? You a plumber. I'm not the plumber. <laughs> no, I'm I'm the plumber. He's the plumber. Okay, what would she I She's the kinky director that forces us <laughs> to get in the position. Right. No, I'm going to work for the right. Geek Squad for Best Buy. She Mrs. I'm Claus. Dead. I'll be Mrs. Claus because I need a nun. Because mm-hmm. she getting niggas and you're in the guy. Yeah, I'm going to be the, the, the fucking B&E guy. guy. I'm breaking and entering. I'm a breaking your horns. I'm breaking your horns. Listen, yeah. I have to tell you something. We have two things in common. Not only are we both Aquarius. Back when I used to be in the streets, a long time ago, Uh-oh. my alias was Joey. Oh, wow. <laughs> so when you type in my name, my name comes up, but Joey's under. I don't use it anymore because the fuzz know. You know? Oh, God. That was my name for years, no. Joey. That's what's so up. Stuff. Okay, yeah. twin. I see you, twin. Well, look, I'm going to write a role for you, and that role, you are going to be definitely tied up in it. So wow. get ready. Wow. This is wild. Yeah, need to I will not up. be taking that role. You're not going to come back. <laughs> you you know, know you might love it. Oscar winning. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah, Oscar mm-hmm. winning. Big dog. Congratulations. Another Thank you. Deal. Thank you. Appreciate I don't know that. why a woman would want to tie up a man, but we wrapping the show right she now. Because she wants to control, my love. That's it. She <laughs> That's want, crazy. She want I wouldn't the power. Wanna, That's I would it. let my man tie me up, but I don't even think I would be comfortable with that. Bro, too. And you just tie somebody up. up. I don't even care to tie you up because it's just like we ain't even got to do all of that. You got to like, do it right. so at least you could take your wrist. You could slide him out too. Just like, listen. Like, don't move your hands. Don't move your motherfuckers. No, that's what, that's that's what I I've never done. I like, never done. I like for a man to put force into me, though, like to to let me feel his strength. But tying me up is just like, all right, are you gonna stab me? Well, you also <laughs> like being slapped and choked. So I what's do. the difference? Well, like I could see me animal. tying up a girl like yeah. with her I arms and her legs, and like me just holding that shit. And that just exactly. That's okay, now see now. You took it way too far. I didn't need to say all that. But that was nice. Hurt. He drawn the quarter. Honestly, if a man rough. pull out handcuffs, I mean, but hurt is not bad. That's just the only way I can handcuffs see it working. But hurt is not bad. Nobody but said handcuffs. Guys. I think of handcuffs and ties together. I don't like it. It's right. like I don't even like you know being arrested. The so. bondage is exactly. exactly. like slavery. It's a lot. Oh my god. With that. Okay, guys. That's just no. fuck around. You're, you're taking it too far. I'm tell you to keep your hands still. You spinning mouths. You doing breaking and entering, but y'all don't want to get a little loosely tied up. What about you getting tied up? No. Nah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's serve it. <laughs>